Hi. We're going to learn how to speed up our Django or OERM query using a really nice feature of, of Django. Let's see. Uh, in this case, we have four tables. And we have a country table. This is an example. We have a country table where we store all the country names and an ID. So, in this table, we have 2047 registers um, based on an ISO. And next, we have a location type table. We, we save in this table um, registers like department, district, state, and that kind of, of the data. So, we're going to see, for example, based on ASO 3166-2 and dash 1. In dash 1, we have all the country names. And in dash 2, we have all the country location type names like states, territories, provinces, cities, and others. So, we have an intermediate table that stores the configuration. Uh, let's see, for example, in country, we have a register called um, Brazil. And we are going to see in the ASO Brazil Let's see, Brazil has one federal district and 26 states. So, we have a location type called federal district and other location type called, oh, let's see, mm, the other is called state. So, in the intermediate table, we have state and the ID of Brazil. Then, the other register of the location type and Brazil. And that's all that in that table and finally we have location table in this table we are going to store uh, names like for example in Peru and Lima for the district or Trujillo or in other countries um, cities like La Paz um, Caracas Munich and well all the names of all the kinds of location types that we see in this ASO 3166-2 we're gonna see that we have let's see we're gonna do a count we have 6000 Oh wow, more than 6,000 registers. That's a good number. So, we're gonna see how many times Django are gonna use to get us the, the data. So we open the console and we're gonna see how many times Django uses. We have to remember that we have 6,530 registers so that's a really good number for a Django query. Let's see, we are gonna wait. Also, we are gonna using a format JSON parameter. Well, we're gonna see the view set that we are using. First of all, we're gonna using a serializer. In this serializer, we have three fields: country name, location type name, and parent name. In country name, we have the foreign key relation. And for example, in the case of I don't know um, Alabama, the state of Alabama, we have the country name United States. 
and also we have other field called location type name that represents the foreign key of location type we are also getting the location type name that it that's it uh, state in this case umpiring name that will be the name of the country also represents an other foreign key so we add the three fields the three serializing method fields in our fields of the serializer and we we are gonna see yes we have three def functions that get the serializer method fields that we are including in the fields tuple so we have the serializer in the view set we are using we are assigning the query set and we are using the objects dot all of the model location and also we are assigning the serializer class that we are gonna use well let's see let's take a look 52 seconds to retrieve this result based on these fields we have one two three four five six fields ID name code country name location type name and power name and we are gonna see how many times 52 seconds using format JSON that's not a, a really good time um, and we have to remember that the DOM renders in depending on the framework that we are going to use in the client um, it will be more than one minute maybe two minutes because the DOM so in real life we are not showing 6000 registers in one time we use infinite scroll or pagination or a paginator but maybe we are we wanna have all the data and then render the DOM with an infinite scroll in angular G gs for example so we are gonna see how to improve and speed up this time and that's really easy using this function called prefetch related we use prefetch related after all and we specify all the foreign keys fields that our model has so let's see the model we have one two three foreign keys we use parent foreign key we're gonna use country foreign key we are gonna use location type foreign key we're gonna save and um, let's copy mm, yes In this case, we have the ID, the name, the code, country name, the location type name, and the parent name. We have one, two, three, four, five, six fields. The six fields that we call in the serializer. So we save the view set, and now we open the console. Uh, let's see how many times we are gonna have. The time is pending and that's it. Four seconds. Uh, let's see. Just we have the same result and we only use four seconds. We're gonna compare the fields that we have. ID, name, code, country name location type name and parent name and that's it we have the six fields 
and we only use 4 seconds instead of 50.